Yes, a hot breath. Cool, that's better. Oh, wait, wait. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Zach. I'm back again. I'm back. Today is a different one. First time you ever doing this on this channel. It's a little mukbang. But it's a kind of depressing day today because I'm gonna keep you, I'm gonna update you guys on what's been happening the past couple of days. It's been a very tough couple of days for myself. Some sad news, but we're gonna get into it. Listen, if you might have seen my face before, my name's Zach, tall, dark, and handsome, six foot three with dreads. You know, I just got my dreads plaited, you know, I put my dreads in plaits, you know, a little barrel to the floor, I'm looking like a snap. But um, if you might like the video, Leave the boy a little like, subscribe, keep supporting me, you know, like I said, I'm still in the hood. But today, I got myself some Aunt Ants, you know, something that I like, I got myself some Nando's as well. You know, we're just going to be talking about life and what's been going on, you know, the plans for the future and what's been going on, so. Uh, got some plastic too, like no metal things. Oh, my bugging, is there hair in my feet? Alright, cool, listen. Started off this week, the sweet boys and girls has been a horrible week. You know, fucking. I started off, where do we start off? I got fired this week. Ladies and gentlemen, I got fired this week. This week, I got fired. I've done something stupid and they let me go. So, right now, I'm currently jobless. I've been looking for jobs. You no. Know, because obviously you niggas ain't paying me at the moment. So, but well, that's not a stupid boys and girls. You want to get into that? We'll save this story time for another day, but I got fired this week. And it's upsetting. But we move, you know. I don't like staying in the same place for longer than a week anyway. I like to switch up my work every week. You know, I got some salad now, I've been healthy. This went off yesterday, but I still eat it. But I've got some questions on my phone now. Yeah. Please, obviously, to write down because obviously I've never done this before. Um, I should put some. Oh, wait. Um, what's some questions? Alright, cool. Listen, I'm going to do a little QA. You know, I don't know what to talk shit about, so I'm just going to do a fucking question and answer. If you little fuckers understand what type of guy I am. You know, bear in mind, allow me, this is the first time you're doing this. Let me, and I have to just sit here and talk to a fucking camera or something. I've never done that before, so. But, um, first question, number one What is my biggest fear? Now, cool. For the guys that know me, no, I'm fucking scared of spiders and snakes. If I see a spider or a snake, I'm gone. I don't care if I'm with Beyonce, I don't care if I'm with Kim Kardashian, I'm gone. Shit's gonna fuck my cum, bro. Fuck. Yeah, so that's my biggest fear. If you lot didn't know, now you lot know. What's the best advice I've ever received? From my mum, she told me, never tell people your next move. Such small, sweet, intellectual words. I'm not smart, intellectual, whatever. But it goes a long way. Never tell people your next move. The reason why, that's the best advice I've ever learned. Ugh. Never tell people what's going to happen. Just go there. And that's something that stuck with me from the day my mum said it to me. You know, that's me the best piece of advice I've ever received, to be honest. Nando's mac and cheese is the best mac and cheese you can ever get. If you think of a sucky rum. Um, okay, number four. If you can get a black card in any restaurant in the world, fast food restaurant, which restaurant would it be? Probably, probably, Nando's. Yeah, probably Nando's. Like, if I can rely on one place to eat for the rest of my life, it would be Nando's. 
so it has to be Nando's. But yeah, Nando's. If I can travel any year, oh fuck, I'm dumb. If you could travel to any year in a time machine, what year would you travel to and why? 2016. Hands down the best year that ever happened in history. In my opinion. 2016. I didn't lose I didn't lose none of my niggas. All my niggas were still alive. After that year, my homie started to die. So, 2016, I was a young, when I say young, I was probably like, what, 13, 14? So, yeah, 2015, 2016, just before I show you that, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. What's my name, my final best childhood memory? My best childhood memory would be in my childhood was that I can't remember shit. I don't remember nothing. Uh, niggas that say they remember things when they was a child are just lying. Uh, man's a grown ass man now. You think I remember things that happened 20 years ago, 15 years ago? You know it's serious when a nigga says, When I tell at your funeral, I ain't even crying. I ain't say goodbye. At your funeral, I stayed and crying. Deeper. Alright, cool. That's all the questions done, Jay. I'm talking shit. Alright, cool. So I need to chat to you niggas about. The plans. The plans going forward. You man can clearly see man's on the grind of becoming a millionaire. And I ain't gonna stop until I become a millionaire. And I'm telling you I'm gonna be the first millionaire in my family. Save this video on page in five years time. Or it could take two years, I don't know. When God's ready. I don't care how long it takes, I ain't gonna stop if you fuckers think this is weird, cringy, because guess what? If you ain't putting money in my pocket. Well, you, ain't, you ain't making sure my dad eats at night. All my nine siblings are eating. Are you? So shut up. Tell me I'm cringy. Like, and tell me you don't fuck with my shit. Cool, fuck off, bro. You're watching me. You know what I'm trying to say? Fuck off. I'm clearly just like, alright. I need to have you fucking to motivate me to post more shit. To cringe you out more. For me. But I know who I am. So your opinion won't affect me because I'm built like that. When you're this sexy, nothing can affect you. Do you think you telling me I'm ugly is gonna hurt? That make me like, oh my god, shut your mouth. You know what I me? Mean? Oh, you man keep, keep supporting the kid. Like I said, it's the first mukbang I'm gonna be doing this out every week. It's easy content, you know, like to move an inch. I'm just talking shit once I turn the camera. Boom. I've got nine siblings to fucking cater for. One and nine. Born in the trenches. Lewisham. Blue side of town. It's tough round right there. I don't know what my next meal's gonna be. You little niggas, you little niggas at home that's got mummy cooking for you downstairs. I ain't got that. It's the real nigga shit around right here. I got my nigga <laughs> the road. We in the hood, cuz. I got my nigga Zeke's is Sid Where's the ghetto, bro? It's real life. Niggas are dying outside. I walk up my house, I can get shot, my nigga. Remember this. Remember this first video. This first mukbang. Talking shit, because I enjoy this shit. I like talking shit anyway. So, I might talk shit and try to get paid for it. And I like eating and spending money on food, so why not get it for free? Type shit. Plans for this week. Obviously, look for a new job. So, I'm currently jobless. I'm actually unemployed. I'm pretty much unemployed, you know. I ain't got no job. I ain't had a job for three days now. I feel like a bum. Didn't go training today. Cause I lost my boots. So I just currently just feel like a bum. If you niggas knew why I got fired, you man would laugh. But I'll save that for another day. That's another vlog. Just got my hair done. Spent seventy pound to look like a snap. And I'm currently unemployed. So I'll kindly appreciate it. If you're watching this video now, I ain't begging. I don't care what you do. Whether or not you support me or not, some fucker in Asia or fucking India will support me. 
or fucking Croatia or wherever the fuck it is. Or Brazil. That will support me. So whether or not you like my shit or not, I don't care. You know. Going back to what I said earlier, I don't give a fuck what you said and what you think. Send this around to your friends. Exactly. Fuck off. Get off my shit. Just suck my dick, nigga. When you see me blow 100 bags in Harry, you'll be saying shit. See? Or you see with the bust down skeleton on my wrist. I already got the rolling. I see the bust down skelly. I remember I was showing curls my niggas back in all 14. Now I walk up into Harry's and got shut in the store going backwards. My boy runs shouting me for some. Um, a Sky Sports event, I think, so we yeah, have event. But, so you men are gonna see that. Uh, but I just wanted to get this little mukbang, first mukbang, you know. Just get out of the way because I've been wanting to do this for a little while now, so I'm happy I finally recorded. It's kind of weird though, just sitting in front of the camera talking shit, but someone out there is eating with me, you know. I'm watching it, so hi to you. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you like the video, suck him out, do that good shit.